What's up beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Eurovision 2019 and in this video I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite songs for this year. Now all of them will be in a random order except for the last three that I'll be announcing which are definitely my top three songs. Let's get started. Remember that everyone can have their own opinion so this is my top 10. I'd love to hear your top 10 but let's do this peacefully people, okay? Let's get started. Where's the list? First up, I'm going to be talking about San Marino, Say Na Na Na. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why, but this song just gives me such kind of like cool, aesthetic, chill vibes. Really, I can just listen to this song and do some studying, really enjoy the, the really calm tone and voice. I just really like that song. Sweden's entrance, Too Late for Love. <laughs> This guy's voice is so freaking good. I love the power that the song has. The way he's smiling throughout the entire song. I don't know, I just really like it. Belarus... <laughs> Belarus's entrance, like it. This girl is just so much energy, to be fair. On her first rehearsal, she was a bit kind of hypotonic. She wasn't, she wasn't really feeling it. I don't know, maybe she was too nervous or something. But the song in general is really good. And I think that if she, if she supports it on stage, she's gonna go really well. Cypress's entrance with the song Replay. This song is so freaking good. And all I can see is that Cypress really wants to win Eurovision throughout this or the next years. Uh, really, over the past few years, she has shown such professionalism, maybe. Uh, like, they're really willing to win and they're fighting for it. So I definitely wish them good luck for this year. Next up, France with the song, I think, Ra. I never got around French, so I'm sorry, but this song is so freaking good. I love the, the genuine voice, kind of, how the singer is really feeling the song. I don't know, there's something about this song that's so genuine and so heartwarming, maybe. Greece's entrants are with better love. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Now, my first impression about this song is that it was weird, to be fair. This is why I didn't do a reaction to it, as you can tell, because later on, especially during uh, the rehearsals, I saw how beautiful the song is, how beautiful Katarina's voice is. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Greece perform. Next one, I actually didn't expect to like this song. Italy Soldi. Oh my god. I think it has, it's been the first time I've actually liked Italy's song. I don't know what's wrong with me in Italy, but definitely this year's song from Italy. I'm definitely looking forward to Italy's performance. I think he's gonna do well. People already like him. And lastly for the top seven is United Kingdom's uh, Bigger Than Us. I don't know why. I'm just feeling that song. The guy who's singing just really feels the song. He, You can see the energy he has towards the song. I really like his vocals. I really like the song, the music to it. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. And now for my top three for this year. Ah, I'm really excited. Okay. Top three for me is definitely Switzerland with She Got Me. The vibe, the power, the awesomeness the song has. The music is amazing. The beat is amazing. Everything about it is so amazing. I don't know why, but I love it so much. It's so good. Top two. And this guy will always be in my top list because I'm a sucker for his vocals. And that's Hungary with song Azina Pan. <laughs> Yossi had actually uh, participated in Eurovision 2017 and I was a sucker for his song at that time as well. My entire family is actually a fan of his voice. His voice is almost like spiritual in a way. He has amazing vocals, I can't even explain. Like every time I hear him, I have goosebumps all over me. His voice is just to die for, I don't know. I think the entire Hungary is proud of him. I don't know, I don't know. I just feel that way about him. I was literally screaming when I saw he was back for Eurovision 2019. And oh my god, I'm a sucker for his song, I can't! And last but not least, I think everybody knows that I'll be rooting for this person like crazy. This is the person I'll be voting for, and yay me! And this is Russia's entrance with the song Scream. <laughs> People, did you hear those vocals? Like, goosebumps? At this point, is a very poor word to explain what had happened to me when I first listened to the song. I was like, there's no way he can reach those ones. No way, absolutely no way. He can reach them. He's perfection. Sergey Lazarev, as always, he never ever fails to surprise me. For all top 10 songs and the rest of the countries, obviously, I wish you good luck. I think this is going to be a really awesome and very competitive Eurovision. We definitely have some really great entrances. 
I'm definitely looking forward for all the songs. I'd love to hear your top 10. What do you have to say about the countries that will be performing? And I'll see you in the comments and in the next video. Peace out!